Nancy. <clears throat> it's good to be here today. Um, I just want to thank all the other speakers as well. Um, also, I'd like to thank the CPSC for inviting me here to launch this national public campaign. It's great to be back in Fort Lauderdale, where I've been here many times before for national competitions. It's the perfect place to remind Americans that we can all have fun in the water, but it's also important to be safe at the same time. Many of you might know me from my gold medal swims, but I'm also the proud parent of a young child who is just learning to swim. Knowing how to swim may have helped me win in the water, but it takes a lot more to ensure a safe environment for children in and around pools and spas. The Pool Safely campaign highlights an important message for all Americans as we head to the pools this summer. Our greatest water safety assurance in swimming, pools, and spas comes from adopting as many safe practices as possible. From being alert to knowing CPR to installing the right drain cover can never have enough safety measures to save a life. My son's learning to swim, but there's a variety of other proven water safety steps that we can take and adopt. Some of these may include behavioral water safety steps. Those are actions that encourage personal responsibility and one of those might be staying close and never keeping your eyes off your child. Keep a phone nearby and never leave them unattended. There's also knowledge-based water safety steps. These actions are learning and practicing swimming both as a parent and for your children. My son's only two and a half, at two and a half months old, already was in the water learning to swim. It's never too early. Learning CPR, it's a great way to keep your child safe. And um, the last one are equipment safety steps. These relate to ensuring that we have the right equipment in and around the pool to create a perfect safe environment. It's important that all pools and spas have the new compliant drain covers. We keep our children away from pools and spas and there should always be a four foot fence installed or a pool alarm. Also pool covers will help when they're left alone and unsupervised. It's important for each of us to create our own personal safety system that you can decide what, ste what steps work best for you to protect your loved ones in and around the pools and spas. Whichever one you choose, think about the pool and spa safety steps you can practice which can save a life. That is how you can pool safely. Thank you, I'd like to introduce Janet Evans. Thank you, Jason. It's always an honor to be here with a fellow Olympian. And thank you to Nancy Baker, to Chairwoman Wasserman Schultz, Chair Congresswoman, and Chair Chairman Tenenbaum, although I like to say Chairwoman. Um, <laughs> it's such an honor to be a part of CPSC's Pool Safely program. As Jason mentioned, um, we are both parents. I have a nine-month-old little boy who just started to crawl, and I have a three-and-a-half-year-old little girl. Um, it's crazy being a mother of a preschooler and a nine month old because my I think my son's going to be an Olympic crawler. He crawls so fast and I think my daughter is going to be an Olympic runner because she runs fast and my problem is they both run in different directions and I'm trying to chase them and get dinner ready at the whole nine yards. So my point is that we all know how difficult it is with children to keep an eye on them and I'm learning that twofold now that I have two children. My point is, is that when you're a parent, you're trying to keep an eye on your children, you can't have your eyes on them all the time. As Congresswoman Wasserman Schultz said, no matter how vigilant we are as parents, we can't always be watching them. When you have a pool in your backyard and you are a parent and you're trying to watch your children, they can get away from you in an instant. And this has been mentioned today, drowning can occur in two minutes and it's silent. You do not know that it's happening. So to every parent out there, no matter how vigilant you are, how wonderful of a parent you are, and I think I'm a perfect parent, not really, but I try my hardest, it can happen. Thank you. It, it can happen. So Jason already mentioned some of the precautions we need to take to keep our children safe this summer. I live in California. All of my friends where my children go to play dates have pools. These are the precautions I'm going to take this summer. I am not going to leave my three and a half year old for a play date unless the parents have a pool with a gate with four sides with a self-closing gate that latches behind the child or the adult when they leave the pool. There will be a phone next to their pool. One of the parents or the babysitter will know CPR. Um, there will be layers of protection. I have my children in swim lessons. My three and a half year old actually can swim all four strokes and could swim 
you know, the length of this pool many times over. However, she is not pool safe and she never will be pool safe until she's maybe my age. I'm not sure, but I do not suspect that my child is pool safe and no one will ever <laughs> take their eyes off of her, even as good of a swimmer as people might say that my three and a half year old is. Um, so these are all steps as parents that we need to take this summer. And you might not think about them, but once again, drowning happens so quickly and so we don't know what's happening. I've become very more aware, speaking to Nancy this, these last few days, about drain covers. I, you know, I knew the problem existed, but I'm going to check every drain. I swim all the time. I'm going to check every drain now and make sure that the parents of the children where my, where my children play also have um, drain covers that are in compliance. So my question to you parents out there is, what are you doing this summer to keep your kids safe? And I want to get a dialogue started. I think we should all go to poolsafely.gov and read the suggestions we have, but I also want to hear from you guys. I want to hear what you do to keep your children safe in the summer. We also are very high tech and we're on Twitter. So you can Twitter us at poolsafely on Twitter. So I don't Twitter, but I, I might try now. Yeah. <laughs> um, but we really do want to hear what you have to say. It could mean saving a life. Remember that simple steps save lives. Thank you very much.